He literally scammed the guy. Hi everyone, hope you are having a nice time. Your boy Al is here with solo leveling episode 10 review so let's go. At first we see that while strolling in the park, Juhi confides in Sun about her lingering fear from their previous dungeon expedition and her reluctance to tackle higher ranked dungeons. She expresses her intention to retire and move back in with her family, offering Sun her essence stone before parting ways. In a flashback, Wu warns Sun about the potential threat posed by Huang's younger brother, Dong Su, emphasizing the power wielded by s rank hunters like him and their ability to influence peace or chaos beyond the reach of the law. As far as I know Ju He is the female lead of this anime, so I didn't really like how she gave up on being a hunter, because I don't like weak female leads. Also I wonder what is Wu's motive behind helping Song. We see Song acknowledge the need to enhance his strength. He then meets with Yu, who introduces him to their strike team, consisting of unconventional members including drunks and a minor. Song's surprised by the team composition and faces a confrontation with the miner after making an offhand comment. Deciding to proceed alone with you for the dungeon raid, Sung assures the recruited members that they will wait outside. Yu discusses the terms and consequences of their arrangement with the recruits before they enter the dungeon gate. Some hunters express concerns about the decision to let Song and Yu explore the dungeon alone, but others reassure them, emphasizing that they have already been paid. Jina reveals that the miner who joined Yu's team is a classmate named Song Yi. I always assumed Song Yi would know what Sun looks like, because she is very obsessed with him for some reason, but it seems Song Yi has never seen him. Also, Yu's armor gag really felt forced. Next we see that the strike team is surprised when Song and Yu emerge victorious from the dungeon. Yu notices Song's increasing strength as they continue to level up and undertake dungeon expeditions. Song reflects on the usefulness of his new stealth skill and considers whether to undertake the Demon Castle mission. Suddenly, Song receives notification from the player log system about a job change quest. Meanwhile, at a Hunter Association office, a man named Kitchell presents a document to his manager on, revealing that someone is investing 150 million in C-Rank Dungeon Gate ownership. Correct me if I'm wrong here but I don't think Sung's job or class was ever shown, even though he is at level 20 at the very least, so this job change quest is a bit confusing, but I guess this is where he will get his first job, although it should have happened at level 5 or 10 if I go by normal gaming logic. Moving on we see on Discover that Yu and Sung are behind the scheme. He speculates whether Sung is the same person from the Double Dungeon Expedition and presents evidence to support his theory, surprising Kitchell. On expresses his intention to scout Song and visits Yu's strike team with Kitchell. Despite Song Yi's objections, On decides not to meet Song and leaves with Kitchell. Later, Song and Yu exit the dungeon, and Song requests a day off, which Yu agrees to, postponing their dungeon exploration for two days. Meanwhile, Guildmaster Choi wakes up from a nightmare about Jeju Island and prepares for the reconnaissance Jeju Island mission. Choi having nightmares kinda surprised me, because I was expecting him to be a very chaotic and evil type of character, but I guess I will need to reconsider that thought process. Also scouting for guilds can be really painful in online games. Then we see On and Kitchell approach Sung, with On introducing himself as the second administration team manager of the White Tigers Guild. They enter a cafe where On offers Sung membership in the White Tigers Guild, but Sung declines. Before leaving, Sung asks on how he learned about him, to which On admits to researching Sung due to dungeon market issues. On assures Sung that he won't divulge information about him to others. Sung then offers on ownership of three of their C rank gates, or else they won't participate in any C rank dungeons in the future. On accepts the offer, and Sung uses a potion to heal On's wound. It was pretty hilarious to see how Sung reversed the whole situation like it's nothing, but it will be more interesting to see what role on plays in the story from here, I mean there's bound to be a reason why he got introduced like this. At the end we see Song and Yu discussing the exchange of gates and money. Later, employees of the White Tigers Guild react to the news of owning the three C-Rank dungeons. Kitchell informs On about the situation, and On is shocked by Song's deception. 
despite feeling a bit bitter, Ahn is content that he now has Sung's contact information. Sung ponders the details of the job change quest. It seems the job changing quest is up next, and will be pretty interesting to see what Sung picks, I think it will be something agility based like an assassin, because he prefers speed more than power. Overall I didn't enjoy this episode much even though some parts were fairly surprising. Anyways thanks for watching everyone. If you like my video then check out some of my other videos. Also don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel or leave a comment if you want to say something, you can also follow me on Twitter and Instagram or check out my Facebook page, links are given in the description until then see ya.